Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you and the mercy and blessings of Allah. Welcome to the path to Jannah, the channel that shows you the way to heaven in Islam. But before we begin, please make sure to hit the like button, share this video with your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Now let's get started. In this video, we will talk about the promise of Nadine. Nadine was a young girl who loved to help others. She was kind, generous, and honest. She always kept her promises, no matter how big or small they were. She knew that promises were a sacred trust and that breaking them would be a sin. One day, Nadine's friend Hana asked her to help her with a school project. Hana was struggling with math, and Nadine was good at it. Nadine agreed to help her and promised to meet her at the library after school. However, on her way to the library, Nadine saw a group of kids playing soccer in the park. She loved soccer, and she wanted to join them. She thought that maybe she could play for a few minutes and then go to the library. She told herself that Hana would not mind if she was a little late. She ran to the park and asked the kids if she could play with them. They welcomed her and gave her a jersey. She put it on and joined the game. She had so much fun that she forgot about the time. Meanwhile, Hana was waiting for Nadine at the library. She checked her watch and saw that it was getting late. She wondered where Nadine was. She tried calling her phone, but there was no answer. She felt worried and disappointed. She needed Nadine's help to finish the project, which was due the next day. She decided to start working on the project by herself, hoping that Nadine would show up soon. She opened her math book and tried to solve the problems but she found them too hard and confusing. She wished Nadine was there to explain them to her. Nadine was still playing soccer in the park. She scored a goal, and everyone cheered for her. She felt happy and proud. She looked at the sky and saw that it was getting dark. She suddenly remembered her promise to Hana. She felt a pang of guilt in her heart. She realized that she had broken her promise and betrayed her friend's trust. She quickly apologized to the other kids and ran to the library. When she got there, she saw Hana sitting at a table, surrounded by books and papers. Hana looked up and saw Nadine. She felt a mix of relief and anger. Nadine, where have you been? she asked. I'm so sorry, Hana, Nadine said. I got distracted by a soccer game in the park. I lost track of time. A soccer game? Hana repeated. You chose a soccer game over your promise to me? I know, I know, Nadine said. It was wrong of me. Please forgive me. Hana sighed. Nadine, do you know what promises are? She asked. Yes, Nadine said. They are a sacred trust. Exactly, Hana said. And do you know what happens when you break a promise? Yes, Nadine said. You commit a sin. Right, Hana said. And do you know what else happens when you break a promise? Nadine shook her head. You hurt someone's feelings, Hana said. You make them feel sad and betrayed. Nadine looked at Hana's face and saw the pain in her eyes. I'm sorry, Hana, Nadine said again. I didn't mean to hurt you. Hana smiled weakly. It's okay, Nadine, she said. I forgive you. Thank you, Nadine said. But please don't do it again, Hana said. I won't. Nadine said. Promise? Hana asked. Promise, Nadine said. They hugged each other and then worked on the project together until they finished it. Nadine learned an important lesson that day. Promises are not meant to be broken. They are meant to be kept. We have reached the end of this video. We hope you learned something beneficial and enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a comment below and let us know what you think. Also, don't forget to check out our other videos. And remember, the ultimate goal of our life is to please Allah and enter Jannah. So let's strive hard to follow his commands and avoid his prohibitions. May Allah make us among the people of paradise. Amin. Until next time, don't forget to send peace and blessings upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.